Aloha my lovely people. In this video I have a massive Hawaii vacation haul to share with you all. I promised you that I would share everything we bought in Hawaii on our tropical paradise vacation. So here it is. I have a large number of items to share with you guys. So if you want to see all the beautiful, wonderful, pretty amazing things that I bought, including fragrances and body lotions, just continue to watch. So as I said, I have a lot of different items here to share with you guys. I have jewelry, I have clothing, I have uh, fragrances, I have body lotions, body butters, fragrance oils, hair accessories, I mean name it. I have a lot of stuff to share with you guys. I promised you I would share everything I bought on our vacation. This is almost everything, not everything. Some things are private, you know. Yeah, most of the things I'm sharing with you. By the way, I just uploaded last uh, Thursday. Yeah, the first part of our Hawaii vacation, the first uh, two to two and a half days of our vacation, it's just scratching the surface. It's just the very beginning of our vacation. It's actually vlog number three, technically, because I uh, uploaded a shopping vlog, getting ready for the vacation, buying things last minute for the vacation. That was vlog number one. Vlog number two was packing for the vacation and vlog number three is technically the actual Hawaii vacation, the, the, uh, the very like first little bit of our Hawaii vacation. So if you missed it, go check that out. I will link it up here and down in the description box. Vlog number four containing like the middle of our vacation and vlog number five containing the end of our vacation. They're coming up soon. Today I was supposed to upload a different video. Something happened and I had to change plans. It was supposed to be like a fragrance uh, video, related video. This is also actually technically also a fragrance video because I have a lot of fragrances and body you know, products to share. But yeah, so I don't know if Tuesday will be the vlog number four. It probably maybe will be the next Thursday. Like, so not this Tuesday, but Thursday would be maybe vlog number four. And maybe vlog number five would be Sunday. I don't know, but stay tuned and subscribe and, you know, hit that notification bell so that you won't miss anything when I upload because if you subscribe and just don't click the notification bell you're not going to get notified by the way did you know that like subscribing means absolutely nothing anymore it doesn't mean doesn't mean anything don't ring the bell nothing will happen you will never know when I upload a lot of people miss videos that way oh while we're on the subject also don't forget to follow me on Instagram where I post things as they happen so you'll get the news faster like restock alerts or you know, a fragrance that I just bought that I absolutely love, I usually share immediately on Instagram before I even share them on YouTube. Anyway, so I have a lot of stuff, you guys. Let me show you. Oh my gosh, I can't, oh, it's oh, too heavy. So this is how much stuff we got in Hawaii. So yeah, I have a lot, so I'm gonna try to breeze through this fast. And I think I'm gonna start with the fragrances because that's what we all wanna see. Fragrances, body lotions, body butters, body oils, fragrance oils, scented candles. So we'll get to those first. So you guys, you will see in probably vlog number four, or oh, five, I don't know, five, maybe four. You will see one in one of the two coming up, not the one that's already posted, but the next one's coming up. You will see that we took a trip to North Shore that's what they call it. It's like where like, it's kind of like going into the country of Hawaii, away from Waikiki, which is where we were staying. So by the way, we were staying on the big island and Waikiki is where like all the tourist stuff is. Like it's like the, the city part of it, very like hustling and bustling and lots of tourists and really like fancy hotels and luxury shopping and all that stuff. That's Waikiki and you have the beautiful beach there as well. No Shore is kind of like a fun trip where you just go into the countryside 
of Hawaii and you actually get to see real Hawaii you know for the first time when you go to North Shore you get to go snorkeling you get to go like see all the you know like the macadamia nut farms or factories and the the dough factories like the fruit brand you know and uh, all the beautiful like like pineapple uh, fields uh, sugarcane what have you anyway sugarcane I'll tell you that story it's not no longer really a, a thing in Hawaii they used to grow sugarcane a lot more but not anymore but anyway I'll get that get to that later you will see that in the blog so anyway when we went to North Shore we stopped at a at this uh, macadamia nut place like it's a macadamia nut farm with a, a store that sold different goods and it, it was a really neat little store and in that store i bought these gorgeous 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 perfumes by the way you guys in hawaii they're all about beautiful scents i mean duh it's a tropical paradise and you get all these exotic amazing tropical florals like tiari flower you know frangipani um pikaki uh, plumeria i mean name it all and jasmine all these beautiful like tropical florals of course in hawaii so they're all about different fragrances and they make these 100% natural most of them are and some of them like 90% natural beautiful like very natural smelling fragrance oils and sprays and body products like body care products so this is like a good example so these are really cute it grabbed my attention right away so these three i grabbed in um, um on that north shore trip these are actually perfume oils now this one is uh, island pikaki it's a beautiful pikaki is this beautiful white floral i'll try and put a picture up here it's really gorgeous they have that in sri lanka too where i grew up um very much a gorgeous floral beautiful scent so this is uh, these all three of them are um body oil i'm sorry fragrance oils so these are fragrance oils and this is what the bottle looks like it's not gorgeous oh, i love them so yeah, it says um, Island Plumeria is the scent. This brand is uh, Maui, made in Maui. So this is ma made in Maui, Hawaii, not on the main island, but in Maui. So let me tell you, they smell, oh, this one, this pikaki oil. By the way, you guys, our first stop was the macadamia nut farm where I bought all the stuff. And then it was the waterfall. And then we went this beautiful waterfall and then we went to um, uh, to snorkeling and all that like uh, you know kayaks and canoes you know you can do canoeing and all that kayaking uh, another area um, so I when I bought this I dabbed a little bit of this behind my ears like just here you know and like my pulse points here just not even that many spots like just these two and I think behind my ears Oh my God, like we got into the water, like at the waterfall and at the uh, at the, the beach. And when I immersed in water, and even before that, I kept, kept getting like strong whiffs of this, so pretty. And I thought it would wash off. I thought, well, it's 100% natural and it'll just get washed off in the water, you know. I bought them mostly for fun. I'm like, whatever, you know, it's okay if it gets washed off. No, you guys, I got in the water. I kid you not, so I emerged from the water and it's as if like my sweat and the water all kind of mixed with the fragrance and it was projecting, like just emitting from me and it was so beautiful. I was getting all this and the, the breeze from the ocean and I was getting these gorgeous whiffs of myself and I'm like, whew, you know? Seriously, these were just, woo, they were really good. This Pikaki one is so, so pretty. I just absolutely adore this one. Oh my gosh. You, you gotta go in person to get this kind of stuff. Make sure to buy some perfume oils, like the natural Hawaiian made perfume oils and perfumes and body butters and body lotions. So this one is Island Gardenia. 
So let me try to go faster, you guys. I'm, I'm yammering too much, so I don't want this video to be like a million years long. So this one is, the next one, is um, Island Gardenia. So this is what it looks like. And same kind of packaging, same bottle. And this smells very much like true, pure gardenia, you guys. I gotta tell you, these perfume oils from the source, like these flowers grow in Hawaii and this is right from the source and they just, you know, extracted this perfume oils. They smell so pure, natural and heavenly. Honestly, and this, these didn't cost me that much money. This was like 35 or $40 each. I mean, they're not like cheap, cheap, but also like not super expensive. And for the price, I mean, for God's sake, you know, it's just really mm, so good. Look, you guys, I mean, you don't need much. Just dab a little. Oh, so good. So this is gardenia and it smells like pure, like putting your face into a gardenia bush. Seriously, that's what it smells like. By the way, you, if you guys, did I... Up, was that in there? No, no. In the upcoming next part of the Hawaii vlog, you will see that I discovered tiari flower too in Hawaii and I, I filmed it, you know, that was an amazing, and it was right on the beach, right there, right on the beach, um, the back of the Sheraton Hotel where we stayed um, later. So yeah, it was, we had like an oceanfront view, you guys, it was heavenly. We had to stay in two different hotels because we extended our stay way too late and everything was booked in the hotel we were in and then we had to book at the Sheraton and at the Sheraton we got like an ocean front room. Whew, it was so good. But anyway, so this one is Island Plumeria. So Plumeria is essentially frangipani and plum Plumeria are the same thing. I think frangipani is a type of pl pl Plumeria. So I call frangipani the one that's white with the, the little yellow in the middle and the yellow ones. So it also comes in, same flower comes in like like a little, like a pink flowers with the little pink edges with the white um, uh, petal in the middle and then a little yellow in the middle. It's hard to describe, but anyway, it comes in different colors. So they're called Plumeria. So this is like the Plumeria one out of the three. Ooh, guys, I'm, I'm getting huge whiffs of myself now. Now I'm smelling like gardenia and pikaki strongly really strongly i can smell re it's projecting and it's mixing with my you know my like my natural body um, chemistry so here is plumeria i am gonna put plumeria kind of like here oh my goodness these are just it's like taking a bucket of plumeria flowers and like putting Buckets of plumeria flowers, putting them into one place and putting your head like in it. It's that good. It's that natural and strong and potent. I am so happy that I bought this because I don't have natural 100% pure oils like this in my collection in the sense like I have like atars and stuff and you know and they're great but like to get something from the source that's you know extracted right there and bottled and it f smells so darn beautiful and like natural so and also i was in this store so there are these uh, stores called abc stores in hawaii and even the the tour guides make jokes about abc stores because everybody goes to the abc stores in hawaii and they're everywhere like every like 10 feet you walk they're there and from those ABC stores you can buy these gorgeous like perfumes you know they're all like paradise flowers you know so I bought all of these from the ABC stores so let me show you so this one is called passion pineapple so this is a, a, a perfume spray it's passion fruit and pineapple obviously so let me I kind of don't want to waste these, but I'll do it for you guys because um, I don't know how when I'll go back to Hawaii again. I don't want to like go through this like crazy. They're not that huge. Um, I should have gotten more, you guys. I just the reason why I had to stop here. You guys saw how much I hold already 
we didn't have that much space left in our bags you know I'm high maintenance and I brought like a fully packed bag and a carry-on and everybody else the kids had to be packed and my husband his stuff he has huge shoes you know everything so we didn't have any like any room left so I had to stop myself at one point and I couldn't buy anymore I really wish I had more space next time I go to Hawaii learn the lesson I'm not bringing many clothes I'm packing very minimal amount of clothes because you don't have to you guys in Hawaii you can just shop for clothes right there and you can get everything you need right there and all the gorgeous tropical you know flowy maxi dresses and everything and the sarongs and name it you can get it there so this one you guys did I even tell you what this is so this one yeah I, I told you so I'm gonna spray this right now um oh you guys oh my gosh Hmm, that smells exactly like what it says. It definitely smells like pineapple, exactly like passion and pineapple. And um, passion fruit, pineapple, like the juicy tropical fruits. That's all I have to say about that, you guys. And it smells just amazing. And these actually last quite long. I gotta tell you, I mean, I haven't been able to wear all of it. I bought like a million of them. I haven't like tried all of them, but the few I did wear, they do last. And I was like worried because they're not like too expensive. So I was like worried that it would be like low quality or something like that. But this is like, nothing can beat like extracting the flowers from right there from the source and kind of like extracting the oils and making perfumes can't be that you know I mean I highly recommend if you go to Hawaii picking up these Hawaiian scents like Hawaiian perfumes oh my gosh I went a little um, I, I went crazy I had to stop myself at one point like I'm like you won't be able you're gonna have to leave some of it behind if you bought any more so I had to like really stop myself so yeah it's called forever floral so this is one of the the brands and it says right here made in Hawaii so it's made in Hawaii so which is why I bought them and here's the gardenia of the same brand and again it smells exactly like gardenia oh my gosh you guys I, I don't know how to like even say how thrilled I am smells like I've grew up with these florals I'm telling you it's kind of like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get emotional again but um it's like putting your nose into a gardenia. You know, have you ever smelled a fresh gardenia? <sighs> so this one is uh, from also Forever Florals. This is the Pikaki one. Um, so this one, they call it like spray cologne, but I tell you guys, I mean, even if it wasn't eau de parfum, it's very strong and it lasts. It's very good. Um, so this is the Pikaki version. I feel terrible kind of spraying these in the air, but I don't have enough spots left on my body. It's like traveling back to my childhood of memories of all these gorgeous tropical florals. Oh my gosh, you guys. Again, I'm not gonna get emotional again. So, um, so this one is Plumeria um again it's like a, like see this is like this is what i would call frangipani this this white one with the yellow middle uh but but frangipani is is plumeria essentially um so you go this one's gonna take my breath away so this one is uh forever florals or also and this one is called heavenly lelani um, so now Lalani is, if I remember, if I, if I am correct, these are the names that they call these flowers in Sri Lanka, obviously, so I'm not familiar with some of these names, like the Lalani, I think is also a type of Plumeria, Frangipani, same family. Um, so Lalani is another beautiful uh, one. These are Hawaiian names, I think. <sighs> I mean, it just smells so pure, so innocent, so goddess-like. I don't know how else to describe them, you guys. Ah, oh, I have like, I think uh, one more scent left. 
of this type. I've got other scents, but they're not Hawaiian born scents. But this one is another one. This is from Royal Hawaiian. And this is the tuberose. So this is the tuberose scent that I picked up. So this is tuberose. Let me spray this one. Hmm. I'm not impressed with this brand, you guys. This is actually a different brand. So, so this brand is Forever Florals from Hawaii. And this other brand is from, this is from Maui. Uh, this is one, this is called Hawaiian Classic Perfumes. By the, by the way, I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you. So those are good, but this brand is Royal Hawaiian and I'm not that impressed with it because this is more like, like a true cologne. Um, it's not as concentrated, I feel like, in the tuberose scent. And it's not projecting as much, from what I can tell. But it is, nonetheless, natural tu tuberose scent. I'm really annoyed that I didn't buy tuberose in this brand. Anyway, I don't know what happened there. But anyways, now I'm getting into the... Wait, do I have one more? No. So next, what I have left are the, the creams, by the way. These weigh a lot, and I really wanted to buy the entire store, but I really had to constrain myself and not like go hog wild um, on buying lotions because I knew I wasn't going to be able to haul them home because we didn't have any space left in our suitcases, and we didn't bring a, an extra suitcase. We could have bought one in Hawaii, but I don't know. I mean, hauling all those suitcases with the kids too, not fun you guys so anyway so this one is the tuberose lotion or this is is the lotion or so it says it's uh tuberose with macadamia and cuckoo nut oil so it's mixed with the macadamia nuts and cuckoo nut oils so it's to go with the the tuberose like scent i bought so let me smell this let me get a little out Okay, and the scent isn't too strong in this one. I smell the tuberose. Not, not too strong. Again, I'm not a fan of this Royal Hawaiian brand. But, you know, it's good. I'm really excited to show you these lotions here. So these are from the Forever Florals brand. Again, it says Made in Hawaii right there. So these correspond to these the perfumes I got from the same brand. So this one is Gardenia. This one is... To Maria and this one is passion and pineapple so let me mm. this is passion and pineapple mm. again this brand is good you guys this smells exactly like the passion and pineapple scent uh, the the perfume so really love it it came in a little did you see it came in a pack um this one is the plumeria one that oh, so good i'm gonna put it right here i don't really have space left oh my gosh it smells just like the plumeria scent here right here so it corresponds to this the small bottles i know i Look for big bottles. I wish they came in like giant bottles, but these were the only sizes they had. I think they're made for tourists to grab and kind of go um, and travel friendly, you know, made to be travel friendly, unfortunately. I think these are all made for tourists, honestly. Unfortunately, this brand, they didn't have that many different uh, scents, but the two I bought, I'm very happy with. By the way, you guys, remember how I was saying that I really... I'm on the search for a, a pineapple body butter, body cream, body lotion that smells exactly like pineapples. I got it. So this one is Pi Pineapple Paradise by the brand Hawaiian. So here it is. This smells exactly like a ripe pineapple. Like, I kid you not. So it's like, yeah, like a, it's like rubbing a, a ripe pineapple on yourself, you know? Oh, so, oh my God, it's so beautiful. Um, so I got my, and it's very creamy. By the way, this one is made with like shea butter. It's a shea butter body cream, 
and um, it has natural Hawaii, I mean Hawaiian pineapple uh, scent in it so it's shea butter so it's actually very hydrating let me actually try to show you better did I spray anything here um, this one is super hydrating you can actually see that it's a little bit more emollient a little thicker than the uh, these other ones these are more like lotions whereas this is an actual body cream so it's a shea butter body cream so it's thicker and it's more emollient let me not be stingy and put a little bit more i'm trying not to waste them because once i run out i run out so yeah so it's like very like creamy and very emollient and it actually nicely absorbs though to the skin so i got my perfect pineapple cream and i'm i was like desperate and i asked the store clerk and everybody do you not have a bigger like tub of this or a big bottle of this big tube of it they're like no that's the only size i think they're all made like to be travel friendly for tourists so the other one that i'm very happy that i got i should have got like three of these <clears throat> is this one so it's also from the hawaiian brand and this called island passion again shea butter um, body cream same brand same same concept with shea butter um, did I put anything here yeah I did um, so let me see yeah I mean again very like very uh, very oh, feels really nice on the body and it smells like passion fruit you know just really I'm happy I got this and this one is actually um, a heavenly Lilani um, it's actually, I think, a hand cream. I accidentally grabbed the hand cream instead of the body cream. Oh, annoying. Yeah, this smells exactly like Lilani. This is from the Forever Florals brand. This brand, um, not the not the Hawaiian brand. So while I was in Hawaii, uh, you guys saw if you follow me on Instagram, I posted it on Instagram right away, the uh, unboxing of it. Uh, while I was in Hawaii, so it is one of the Louis Vuitton fragrances um, You probably saw it if you follow me on Instagram, so I will give you a hint. It's Heartbeat if you know what I which one I'm talking about Comment down in the comment section right now and guess it and let me know oh, a few seconds All right, so this one is Actually, let me get it out of the packaging first so here you go so I've already unboxed this as you guys saw on Instagram so let me get it out so here it is this one is Coeur Baton you guys so this one is something that I think a few of you have suggested to me in the past and I've been hearing about this quite a bit um, and I really wanted to try it. I mean, you guys know my love affair with Aka Preves. Um, it is my favorite Louis Vuitton fragrance from everything I, you know, smelled when I went into the boutique that one day. And um, I then wanted to purchase, and I remember smelling one other and really loving it. And I couldn't remember which one it was. I needed to, I should go back to my vlog because that was also a past vlog that I posted when I first bought my Atrape Caves. I went into Louis Vuitton again. You will see that part of the vlog in the upcoming um, um, parts, like that the parts that I haven't posted yet. So stay tuned. You will see me buying this in the upcoming vlog. So I bought this and I had it engraved with my initials, you guys, right here. Um, they will do that like they will ask you for your initials I tried to get them to do my first name my full first name but they said that that was too many characters to put so oh, I don't need to spray this fragrance but I, I will spray anyway just for your entertainment I mean I could smell it right here but let me spray it but you know what I'm kind, I'm kind of out of spots did I did I spray anything here or yeah I haven't I don't think did I spray anything here? Probably not. Um, I don't smell anything there. So I'm going to spray it. Mm. <laughs> I just got a whiff of it. Oh, this one is so good. Mm. It is. It just kind of kind of makes my heart sing, you guys. Um, just the way that Attrape craves 
make my heart sing. I smelled many of the other ones, like really popular ones, you know, even like for the second time I got my nose on, which one? Uh, uh, Etoile Filon, I also smelled it again, again, it just didn't, it just didn't, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't there. Um, it, it's beautiful and I would probably get it sometime, but it's not, is it the best jasmine scent I've ever smelled? No, whereas this one, ooh. Mm. So next I have some stuff that I bought from Chanel. You guys saw in my uh, vlog, the, the vlog that already went up, the first bit of our actual Hawaiian vacation. You saw how I went to the Chanel store, so this part you've already watched. Um, so here's stuff I got from the Chanel store. You know the story. I'm not going to repeat it. You, if you saw the vlog, you know what happened at the Chanel boutique. I went there to get something and that wasn't there. And I ended up getting these. So I ended up buying the Chanel Le Beige, the illuminating um, oil, face, body, and hair. So you can do put this on your face, body, hair, everywhere. So it is this. I haven't even opened it because the actual essay actually gave me a tiny little, I believe I still have it here. I don't know. I, I, I don't have it here, but the essay gave me like a tiny thing of, it was right here. I don't know. It must have fallen down then. Anyway, the essay gave me a tiny little, um, like a little container uh, of a, like, like a sample of this. So I went to the one Chanel store, they didn't have this, so I went to the other Chanel store and they had it. But the first Chanel store is they gave me a tiny little, um, like a, a thing of it, the illuminating body oil, so I can use it that day. And, and you know, she asked me to go to the other store and buy it there, and I ended up doing that. Um, so yeah, so I was using that little tiny thing. I didn't need much of it, like very tiny little bit. I actually wore it on the beach with my fragrances, and then it was like glistening like a, a bronze goddess. But anyway, I didn't need to break into this, is what I'm saying. So I actually ended up using the whole like whole little thing that she gave me. So I haven't even opened this, so I'm gonna open it for you guys so you can see what it is. It's, um, I actually ordered a backup of this uh, also online. It's sold out everywhere except one place. I'll link it down below for you guys, I got you. Um, so yeah, I actually thought that it was sold out everywhere online too, but I think they may have, one of the places may have over uh, restocked after I bought this in Hawaii. So. When I saw that there was one place that still had it online, I snatched a backup of it. So that's still on the way to me, but this is the one I bought it in Hawaii. So this is the, like I said, the illuminating body, face and body oil. So, so anyway, so this is what it looks like. So this is the uh, LaBeige Shimmering Illuminating Body Oil. This can work on your body, your face, your hair, anything. So you really have to, I gotta say, you see these like little glistening, uh, little uh, little shimmer in there. Um, you got, gotta really like shake the bottle. Don't use it without shaking. It looks like pure solid gold in a bottle, you guys. It has a, uh, a bit of a beautiful kind of um, like Chanel type scent. You know, like the typical like luxurious um, like scent to it. A uh, bit of a scent. So yeah, I mean, it's not like too overpowering that it wouldn't clash with your uh, fragrances or anything. So that's something I bought at the Chanel store. I also picked up uh, from the Chanel store because here in DC area, they were all sold out of this one. This is the uh, Chanel Paris Paris body lotion. I finally found it in Hawaii because I couldn't, I went to every place and they were all sold out. You saw in my, my shopping vlog before the vacation, this is the Chanel number no. one. This is from the number no. one collection that was recently released. This is the um, the the lip and cheek balm, and this comes. This shade is two healthy pink, number no. two healthy pink. Um, this I've heard so many people talk about this, and I really had to get it for myself. Like this is perfect for those days where you like. You're not putting any makeup on, you know, but you just want a little bit of like a pinched look, you know, um, and like it's kind of like naturally glowing, uh, blushed kind of look. You can actually 
throw something this like this on this is what it looks like well, let me show you the actual so this is what the thing looks like uh, the pot looks like and this is the back side of it and uh, this is what the color looks like and it's a beautiful kind of like rosy corally shade um, very pretty so this is what it looks like I wish I wasn't wearing any lipstick so I can show you maybe you know what I'll show you like just on my hand if you would just want like to throw something on like you're just going to the pool or I don't know um, just like running errands or something and you would just want that pinched kind of like flushed from within like flat naturally flush look sun kiss kind of look and you just want a little bit so you can put this on your lips and a little bit on your cheeks and you know out the door you go so that's really good or you can wear it with light makeup you know whatever have you so it came in I mean that she gave me this tiny little bag for that um, and then I have another one right here so this one is I also bought the new Chanel Le Beige, um the water fresh complexion touch so you guys know the water fresh tint right it's also from the Le Beige collection that one is like for days where you just want to look like you're not wearing any makeup but you want the evened out skin tone it, it doesn't cover anything nothing it just like evens your skin tone out and makes you look alive a little bit and that's it so it's for those days you just want don't want to wear any makeup right so now this one is supposed to be kind of like the um concealer type deal for to go with that foundation but i gotta say you can wear this as a foundation as well which is what i'm going to do and i will also use this like under my eyes and stuff when i wear the water fresh tint but so this has, as you can see, this one has bigger uh, bubbles of like those little balls of foundation in there, uh, bigger ones than the Water Fresh. The Water Fresh has very tiny little ones. So you, how you use this is you put a little bit on the back of your hand and you have to use this special brush that comes with it. This one is pointy, whereas with the Water Fresh one, you get a flat brush which works really well with it you have to like break the actual particles so you can actually get the so you can actually get the color to come out and then you kind of like you know put it on your under eye area or you can use this all over your face however if you're going to use this all over your face i would recommend using a another brush this one will take forever and a half to do um, with this tiny little brush, but this one is perfect for the for the purpose it was made um, Which is touch up, you know, so it just says right there. It's like a complexion touch, right? So I had to get this the None of the places you saw in my shopping vlog before the vacation that was vacation vlog number one Before the vacation when I when I went shopping every place I went to hadn't received this one yet Hawaii had it but not you know here on the east coast in dc this hadn't hit our stores yet like not the chanel stores not neiman marcus you know chanel store not the the the, uh, the macy's chanel store but boutique none of them had it so i finally grabbed that while i was in hawaii actually have something really fun to show you guys this is from the abc store as well i oh this smells so good this entire bag is just like Hmm, so I bought these beautiful, beautiful scented candles. They are coconut shell scented candles. Again, if you watched my vlog number three, uh, that's actually the first part of our actual vacation in Hawaii. Like, again, it says three, but it's actually the, the first part of the actual vacation. So basically the vlog I just uploaded on Thursday. So if you watched that, you saw how I bought this or where I bought this. So these are you guys coconut shell candles so these are made of coconut shells as you can see so this is like natural coconut shell coconut shell they've sliced off the top and scooped out the coconut flesh and taken out the water of course and then filled it with these gorgeous tropical smelling amazing candles I can't wait to light them I haven't lit them but you guys without even lighting they smell amazing just without even lighting and it's a good sign that it's gonna really emit like just it's just gonna fill the room with the scent and I have a feeling I mean they smell more out of the candle than actual uh, Bath and Body Works candles or 
you know, Yankee candles or any other candles, like really like the regular brand candles, they smell better than them is what I'm saying. And they smell like they will fill the room more even than them. These two are my favorite. So these, this is actually got two of everything. Again, I was worried about the weight of our suitcases. I couldn't get as many as what I wanted. If I had my way, you guys, I would have bought like two suitcases full of these. So anyway, this is the pineapple one. So this one says uh, juicy pineapple. So this is the juni juicy pineapple. Uh, what is the actual brand? This is called Bungalow Glow, uh, made in Hawaii. Yeah, so it's made in Hawaii. So this is the pineapple, juicy pineapple. And that is exactly what it smells like, a juicy, ripe pineapple. Oh my God. I've never smelled a pineapple candle, that pineapple candle that actually smells like a true natural juicy pineapple. These two are the Coconut Volcano, they're called, a very cute name. Um, these smell exactly like coconuts. I mean, what can I say? It smells actually like a nice coconutty drink. Amazing, and then I got these two. I had to get this scent. This is Sweet Hawaiian Plumeria. You guys know it's like a type of frangipani, like I said. Oh my lord, oh, it smells so good! I can't again wait to light this. So, this one is um, uh, Pikaki Lay. So, this is basically Pikaki flower, Pikaki scent. scent. Oh, I just told you guys what Pikaki is. Awesome. Good, you guys. So I got what two, four, six, eight candles, and I wanted to get more. My husband was like, "We will not be able to pack these," and he was right. So if you guys saw my uh, my vlog that I already uploaded, the first part of our vacation, you saw that I went to the ABC store store for the first time, and I went a little nuts over the clothes there. And I actually had to kind of like hold myself back there again because we had so much to pack. Um, so I bought some stuff there, some clothing. So actually my daughter's dress is, she's already, I think she wore it today or something. So it's probably being used up there. But anyway, I got some clothing items uh, while we were there. My husband got like a couple of Hawaiian shirts. You know, it's not like he's gonna wear them here, you know, where we are. It will be only worn when we go on vacation. Um, anyway, so it's not, not something you can wear every day. I know some people like to wear it everywhere, but no. Anyway, so um, this is like, these are like the wraps. They, these are called sarongs. And they have this these in Sri Lanka too, by the way, sarongs. So yeah, so these are like, like basically beach wraps. Uh, and these you can like, wrap in all kinds of crazy ways you guys like if you saw my vlog you saw the store uh the the store lady in the store she showed me how to do it i know the one type of way that she taught me now that she taught me i'm gonna have to like look the other ways up and and learn how to do it so here's the other one so i got like one in blue i feel like i got more and i I may have like some of the other ones somewhere else. So now for the clothing items, I didn't get a whole lot because again, the issue of, you know, not having enough space, but I got, you know, quite a, a few nice things. Uh, I don't have all of them here because my husband and kids already started wearing theirs. And actually I did too, but I only start, wore one of my dresses. So this is the one that, this is like the Hawaiian style dress that I was wearing in one of my videos just which video was was it? It was just like one that I just did. So this is one of them. So this is the Hawaiian style dress. It's like rouged and it's really nice. It's very, it's perfect. You know, like I said, I shouldn't have packed any clothes. Like these are very comfortable, very Hawaiian. And you know, instead of bringing like in my, you know, any of my fancy dresses, I should have just like, you know, just gone without those and just bought these type of stuff. Very beachy, very leisure type of clothing. So um, this is the black version. I haven't worn this one yet, obviously. So, so that's that. And then here's my daughter. So this is my daughter's dress, just like the one I just show, like showed. This is like her size, like her version of it. I really like her print, actually. There, there wasn't such thing in my size in that other store. And then I also got her this from like some from something called Blue Ginger. Um, I got her this this beautiful 
uh, outfit again if you saw my vlog you saw all of this and then I got her this top this is my daughter again um, also from blue ginger I think uh, and then um, got some t-shirts for like my daughter again like Hawaiian type t-shirts just like for casual wear so I got several of these outfits for my boy I can only find one uh, the other ones are probably in the wash or something I don't know I got like maybe three of these for him so this is a as an ensemble you know as you can see this is like a, a set so this is the little little shirt and the little shorts you know Hawaiian uh, type outfit that's perfect for my little boy and then actually one other dress this one also from I think blue ginger this is really pretty so this one let me turn it inside out this was actually she just wore it today I think um, so this is the the my favorite one I got for my daughter it's kind of like handkerchief kind of you know him um, and it's rouged it's really beautiful I really love it it's like a very comfortable material as well um, and yeah here's another t-shirt so like a lot of this stuff are like casual it says aloha it's like t-shirts for for her um, and then you guys I got this really cute accessories from uh, so I'm wearing one this is like a frangipani clip it's a double frangipani clip with a little bit of like pink edges kind of like a plumeria and these are the the white ones so, so it's it's like a clip so it comes like a as a clip so I got two of those so these are actually hair clips which are actually really nice uh, let me take this out so this is like a hair clip plumeria hair clips um, so let me take this one out too so yeah these are hair clips I got two of those or three three of these I don't know I kind of randomly grabbed stuff I should have just like done it more you know uh, methodically so these are hair pins with frangipani on it so also I have these like hair bands with plumeria frangipani on it and by the way these are the hoops that you use for the those beach wraps or sarongs to kind of tie them different ways um, so if you watched my vlog you saw how it's done with with those coconut shell hoop things um, how to do the sarong wrap the sarong with those and I got these beautiful bangles again you saw it in the vlog these are like um, like you know they snap in place they're very beautiful actually let me wear all of them I haven't even had a chance to wear them um, they're very pretty I love it I wish I bought more I don't know why I didn't again well I do know I bought been why I didn't buy more I was gonna buy more later but then we ran out of time plus the weight issue so I really like these. these are like really colorful beautiful bangles anyway I can't find the yellow ones I also have tiny like totally yellow frangipani clip-ons as well they're like my daughter took them and started wearing them so they're probably somewhere um, oh where's her headband okay oh yeah it's no it's not here so she's misplaced her headband but anyway so th this is like the little grass skirt and the uh, coconut shell bra thing my I got my daughter to wear to the uh, luau she actually wore them and she did the hula and she got complimented by the uh, by the person hosting the show saying she was doing a really good job and she actually had a headband that was the exact like this she must have misplaced it somewhere so yeah so it came with the headband too and you guys this is right here this one is a, a quite the treat so this is from the Maui divers jewelry I don't want to almost don't want to spoil the the fun by telling you guys this because this part of the log has not been posted yet so anyway oh yeah I have other jewelry so before I show you Ma Maui da divers jewelry I want to show you some other jewelry I bought so I bought this beautiful like long pearl necklace this is like you can dub double it up this is um, real pearls freshwater pearls so real pearl necklace it's very heavy and very like you can tell it's real 
And by the way, you can always tell uh, real pearls by rubbing the pearls together. And if they rub like plastic, they're not real. And if but if you feel like a little bit of grit, then you know that they're they're real. Like if you feel like when you rub them, they make a little scratching noise. So yeah, so this is the uh, this is like the the pearl necklace. You can like make double it like this, or you can make it double like this, or you can just wear it single like this um it's really beautiful my husband actually bought this uh while i was looking at other stuff so this is really nice um really love pearls you guys i adore pearls so these are all freshwater pearls and these earrings i also got um so these are again freshwater pearls as you can see see they're not perfect shape because they're real pearls so they're beautiful and i got this that, so that's actually sorry these aren't earrings these are actually the bangles and these are the earrings i got it the whole mixed up so these are the earrings these are the earrings and these are the bangles so yeah i love those yeah i forgot i also got the black teardrop pearls um like these so now for the maui divers so this was actually a jewelry store that was inside pearl harbor which we also went to see so these people have this thing where something, I, they called it something like, I don't know, um, look for, go diving for pearl. I don't know. They called it something. I forget. Like, watch the, the vlog anyway. So you, they had these oysters, you know, there that, you know, you had a little thing to open it with. Like, you got to pick your oyster and then you will open it and there were pearls in, like, there was a pearl inside each of those oysters. So you got to, you know, you wouldn't know what color the pearl was or anything. So you got to kind of pick your oyster and some oysters don't have it. So when I picked mine and I opened it, there were two pearls in it. Yeah, it was really awesome. So I ended up having them uh, do a, so the first pearl that I bought, I had them do a um, nice little pendant with it. It's an eternity pendant and then... I got them to do also the two pearls that I found in the oyster that I picked. I'm sorry, I bought the pearl necklace or the pendant. And when you buy a, a piece of jewelry, they make they let you do that oyster thing. And but you had to pay for that too. I I don't remember. But anyway, I ended up doing the choose your own oyster thing, and I I ended up having two of the. Um, of uh, two pearls in it so I ended up deciding like to get earrings with it so so now I have pendant and earrings so that was really special and it's something really nice to remember buying pearl you know pendant and um, earrings at Pearl Harbor which is really nice kind of like, like a neat memory they were like kind of expensive but I really didn't care um, just for the experience you know so I also bought my husband a pair of cufflinks from the store uh, Nahoku. This is actually a Hawaiian uh, jewelry company, fine jewelry company. But I think we have a store here in, in my state as well. But it was nice to buy these in Hawaii. I wanted to get him a little kind of like, you know, a little token anniversary present. These are quite nice cufflinks. They are gold, um, white and yellow gold cufflinks and they have that Hawaiian eternity symbol on them so I wanted to get him something piece of jewelry you know for our anniversary so yeah these this was a really nice find also you will see it in the vlog and then of course for our friends and family I bought a bunch of chocolates and oops Hawaiian chocolate with macadamia nuts and this special like Hawaii uh, cookie company it's called the Big Island candy and they have these like macadamia nut shortbread which is like really like Hawaii is known for so I got those uh, we got those for actually Josh's colleagues and uh, and I got these chocolates like for my colleagues uh, you know uh, macadamia nut chocolates uh, so I got a lot of those you know they, they are like the Hawaiian macadamia nut, like chocolate covered Hawaiian macadamia nut chocolates. 
these took up a lot of space you guys that's one of the reasons we couldn't buy more of the other things we wanted um, and this is like the Hawaiian pineapple shortbread uh, cookies so again more of those they're very popular these like pineapple or other type of like shortbread cookies so yeah I think that's it you guys so that's everything we bought I might have missed a few things because everything got put away I waited too long to do this haul that's it you guys this is all I got and everything I can link I will link down in the description box most of these things were from Hawaii and I can't really link them but there were some that I can like link like the Maui divers I'm sure and the, of course the Chanel stuff and you know I'll, I'll link whatever I can so that's it you guys those are everything that um, we bought in Hawaii we didn't have a lot of space in our suitcases to bring too much I really wish you know next time now I know next time I go to Hawaii I'm gonna bring like an entire empty suitcase so yeah I hope you enjoyed this haul if you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already ring the notification bell so that you will never miss any of my videos don't forget to follow me on Instagram which is where I post everything so you won't miss any of the updates news and new things I buy by the way, stay tuned for my vlog number four with the middle part of our Hawaii vacation and then also the vlog number five coming up after that. And I have another fragrance video that's very special for you guys lined up. It was supposed to go up today, but I had to postpone it because of, a, of, a, of something. So that's coming up. That's going to be a very exciting fragrance video. So stay tuned for all that. I'll see you guys in my next video.